Hey, welcome back, guys. <clears throat> uh, I just thought I thought I'd do this little short video today uh, because I um, actually downloaded Point Linux and installed it, <clears throat> and um, it just reminded me uh, how nice this distribution is. It's uh, based on Debian Stable. Uh, it un installs easily. Everything you throw at it runs. Now, uh, one of the things I did just to uh, <clears throat> just to test it out is I took the sources, and when you first start start off, you have the the two point Linux sources and the Debian sources. So I I disabled the point Linux sources and I converted the Debian sources over to stretch so everywhere I saw Jesse I put in stretch did that right after the install then I did an app get update and app get upgrade <clears throat> and then I added Deb multimedia um, I installed Steam so Steam ended up added to the resources uh, to the sources and also I installed Chrome and so the Google um, repo was added to the sources um, so the way I'm running now is it it's running stretch or testing and there is a uh, little pop-up in your system tray that Point Linux provides that will tell you when it's time for an update and that still works fine <clears throat> and so this distribution I installed it it's it's extremely nice it, it has to be in my top two or three Debian distributions it's really really nice and what I like about it What's nice if you're actually thinking about trying Debian is that it's very stable, everything works. Um, you know, you don't have to do what I did. You can just run the step, the stable Jesse, uh, and it's fine. Um, I did. I upgraded to testing only because when you're running Nvidia and you're adding um, a lot of multimedia applications, um, I find that. Te the testing repos uh, satisfy the requirements a little bit better now at, right after I upgraded and updated through testing I uh, compiled OBS studio which is what I'm using for this video uh, so OBS studio compiled wonderfully I mean I had no issues at all I followed all of my normal compiling steps for OBS Studio and everything worked out great. So I have OBS Studio running, as you can see, and I installed Battle.net through Play on Linux. I'm playing. I play Hearthstone. Steam works wonderfully. All of my uh, applications that I ins normally install are super and uh, I themed the whisker menu as you can see I changed it up a little bit now theming whisker menu is not difficult if you go to if you do a Google search on theming whisker menu you'll find some instructions as you can see you can do various things to it um, and kind of theme it the way you want and then this is the this is the one I'm running here it's just the uh, dark back um, you have to create a file in your home folder I'll show you that uh, you have to create a file in your home folder called dot gtkrc-2.0 and that is here and all I did was I copied 
um, if I open that, I copied the um, theming file, and I'll show you which one I copied. Uh, I copied this one right here, Darkback. And if you look at that file, you'll see it's the Darkback. And so you can change the colors by changing the codes. And you can get all of these color codes online uh, if you Google search color codes. And you can look at HTML color codes and that's where you'll be able to pull in all of your codes and so these are the codes so if you click on a color it gives you the code all you have to do is plug it in that into that configuration file it's the HTML color picker and you'll use those codes to theme your uh, your whisker menu it's as easy as that so uh, guys I just wanted to show you um, Point Linux it's really really nice if you're looking to try a Debian distribution uh, I would recommend that you look no further than Point Linux it is wonderfully stable easy to install very it looks very classy it kind of reminds me of the uh, of the Linux Lite look but again you can change your desktops you can theme it any way you want but it, everything just runs wonderfully everything is nice and smooth and it takes everything that I throw at it so uh, that is it for this video guys um, if you uh, as I said if you want to try a, a nice uh, Debian distribution I'd say my top two or three Debian distributions are uh, MX15, uh, Point Linux, um, and I guess probably Sparky Linux would be number three. Although Seduction is up there also, but that runs unstable, so I'm not sure you want to try that for your first Debian distribution. But that's it for this video, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you soon. Take care.